Okay, it's time we got this finished off. Mongolian Great Khan Achievement. Once this is all said and done, I'll need to think up what my next campaign will be and get going with that. Kind of gearing towards a pagan Sweden or some kind of uh, papal states game, but we'll figure that out when we get to it. So here we are, all we need to do is finish off China, integrate Persia, and finish off the Russian region. Fortunately, the Russian region includes a chunk of Scandinavia, who is under the personal union with France, and this Crimean region, which is controlled by Ottomans and Crimea, who is... Uh, oh... No longer under a personal union with the Ottomans. Okay, that's really good news for me. Really, really good news for me. Let's hope it stays that way. Unfortunately, the Ottomans are going from strength to strength, but okay. So, question is, where are we going from here? Well, we need to check with our truces here. Russia, uh, that'll be another while. Commonwealth we're done with. Scandinavia is a potential. Persia's busy being integrated but not before they convert their lands for me. In fact, they've already done that, so good on them. Uh, it's going to take another whole bunch of Diplo points to get you inside me, but that's fine, we have that. I would like to remove this little Timurid stain, but we have a truce again. And Ming, yep, truce, but only for another five years. Get our last piece of land back for Joe, and we will, we will slaughter Ming. So my time could be well spent fabricating claims, especially on these high base tax provinces from uh, Ming that I'm going to have to take, like Hangzhou. Nice to know that Russia is the only coalition member against us. It makes me want to wipe them off the map, but truce timers and all that can't be helped. Yes, I could colonize further down here, but I have no interest. I got the only land around here that I want. I'll admit this Manchu stain on my map does bother me, but it's not part of the mission. This bothers me a lot, so we'll have to remove that. Now, I'll have to core uh, Crimean land as well, so it would be an idea to get claims on the most expensive parts. Couldn't care less about the Georgian parts. Not part of the region. Ah, hello, Bane. Claim on Kiev, which I really don't want. I need to claim all this uh, Scandinavian land to make it cheaper to take in a peace deal. All this land counts as the Russian region. Because what is Finland? Oh? Oh, I'm mistaken. Klexholm is not. So it's just one, two, three, four provinces I need off of you. Scandinavian, Finn. Oh, no, it's Russian region as well. Okay. Claim stays. Keep these uh, keep these claims going. Tefer is high base tax, I believe. Get that going. But for the most part, it's unfortunately just speed five time. What else is a man to do? could simply war Ottomans. How strong are they? In terms of military technology, they're on par with us. If we were to get the infantry shock plus 50 before them, that would be a great boon, since our army is uh, now consisting pretty heavily of our fairly outdated infantry. Hmm. 
you get reformed tertius on the go. In fact, we're well below our supply, uh, our support limit, and we have uh, plenty of manpower. Perhaps I should make some tertius. Yeah. Just give me a whole bunch. Yeah, more than that. Give me like twenty. I'm sure they will uh, do well. Into the meat grinder. <coughs> now, just because you're hostile doesn't mean that you're going to declare your independence. I wish you would, but I can't force you to. Okay, so you desire pretty much all of my provinces, Austria. Why? <laughs> okay, suit yourself. Jake, I know it's not the end goal, but you think world conquest is possible from my position here? No. Uh, damn. It was a good air. And I don't want some crappy one. So let's get our free temples. I'm already supporting Scandinavian independence. It's up to them to put it to use. My cannon fodder is theirs to waste. Okay, so I'm canning leaning towards uh, Ottoman war right now. I never did look up how strong they were. Armies. Ottomans. 200,000. Yeah, pretty strong. And you have offensive ideas. Not to mention you've got uh, free discipline from the get-go. Mind you, Persia would be a liability. I should really get them integrated first. They'll be done in 70. Which perhaps tells me that I should just fight Scandinavia. I know that means fighting France and all of France's friends, but... And yeah, France would no doubt get over here. But if I just claim this one province, I siege it, and then I just defeat every nation that comes my way, I should be okay. I would also want Joe to attach to me here, which he is doing, so that they don't, uh, you know, fight anyone that lands on the beaches here and wastes my precious war score. Take the admin. Yeah, you know, I think when I get this claim and I start the next one, I'll go to war with Scandinavia. Just a simple conquest, Cassus. We've got our 40 stack of cannons right here. Piety's looking good. Hmm. If we kind of just kept our troops around here, we could grind anything that comes our way. No problem. It's somewhat important to have a good to defense in this area. Yeah, you 
definitely can never have too much manpower. And the last one we're going to need is cola. So our conquest castles below will give us cheaper uh, aggressive expansion for taking claims, and we'll have all this all this region claimed. It's going to be a, have to be the conquest of Neva. But that suits me fine. Our nation is plenty stable, so we shouldn't face any real revolt problem. I do feel a little uneasy about the size of my army, though. 60, 30, 40. And I know I've got 46 down here, but they're somewhat safeguarding. I'm going to stick another 20 stack on a high limit province, preferably a mountainous one. Far as will do and tell Persia to attach to me so Persia doesn't get involved in the fighting. There should be plenty to safeguard that region and rest in peace as Ming. He's still going to be a celestial empire after all that. Yeah, more infantry might be better for this war. Unfortunately, I would need Russia to tech up one point because at the moment we share the same cannon. No, that's not necessarily true. If I switched my cannon back to leather cannon, I could recruit his infantry. Not that they're as good as this other infantry, but... But... Hmm... It's just more meat for the meat grinder, isn't it? You know what, what the I'm sure they're not that bad. Get another 40,000 of them on the go. Why recruit over here? I've got perfectly good cores here. Oh, what have I got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, what's another 20? Hey, if you got quantity, use it. <laughs> hey Marvin, not even a 12-hour break. Yeah, I just went to sleep, got up and went, I want to finish Great Khan today. Let's have our swivel cannons back, though. Persia ticks away nicely. When they integrate, I'm just going to dismiss their troops because they're going to be uh, not what I need. Might keep the cannons though. How are we doing in terms of generals? Yeah, long live you. Four or fives not to be uh, not to be sniffed at. Now I make a quick kill for Neva to get ticking war score, and then I just set up a defense. I defeat any army that comes to me. France could well land here, but that's home advantage. They could land here. Who cares? Let them die in my mountains. I would love to get line infantry though. That extra infantry shock is pretty huge. Ah, all is well in the world. a 40 stack. It's a good supply limit out there, but I want to keep these folks sort of as backup.